Hello, 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 Scorpio. You want to know about your love life? Oh my god, that was, I don't know what that was. I blacked out. I'm sorry. It's Oh my god, Tarot, and this is your love reading. Some of you want to know what's up. What's going on? Hey, love, where you at? And I'm going to pull that up. I'm going to pull that up right now. Astrologically, I'm going to interpret this, and then I'm going to get some impressions from the tarot spread. And I'm not going to do a bunch of stuff. I'm just going to get into it. Because I know, I know how you be with that Mars, Scorpio. I know you're not really patient. But you are patient for me, because I'm a Pisces. So I, listen, let me just get to it. Let me just get to it for our dear Scorpios, our dear water signs of Scorpio. For the month of October, where is the love life at? What's going on? Ooh. <laughs> you guys got Capricorns on the brain? Listen, the energy around you is serious, materialistic, and hardworking. It bestows shrewdness and cautious ambition. So, two things. Yes, you could be bringing in that Capricorn energy. Yes, you could be attracted to or attracting a Capricorn. But also, I want you to keep in mind that sometimes you'll be too serious, Scorpio. You're too serious. And it's very intimidating. I'm quivering in the voice just thinking about how intimidating a Scorpio with Capricorn serious. <laughs> it's overwhelming. And so some of you are prioritizing work because you have goals, you have dreams, you have ambitions, and you have responsibilities. So a lot of you are maybe having to, you need to tend to the softness within. You need to go do a delicate massage and do a, I'm just a girl type day, you know? Like you need to reactivate the mother Venus, the can't, go hang out with some cancer women and be like, oh, I need to recalibrate myself because the feminine energy was leaving my body. Go get your nails done. That always does it for me. Like, my voice gets deeper after a while. I, Yo, hey, would you say? Would you say, partner? Once I hit that octave, then I go get my nails done to reactivate the feminine energy. Because, you know, here we go. Next card. Pluto, you're right at home. You're right at home with this love life thing. All right? It's about your ability to transform. Take a big leap forward and rebirth. So, Scorpios, some of you got to reinvent yourself. Now, maybe I just scratched the surface with the whole feminine thing, but I really think that there's a personal transformation that you probably are already going through. And so you really need to like acclimate to the change and not be like dragging your feet on some of the leftover details or on some things, but not others. Maybe some of you have been meaning to quit smoking. Maybe some of you have been meaning to move or take a drastic measure in your career, anything. But there's personal transformation that's due. I feel like part of that will affect your romantic life. I think that this is like an evaluation of yourself, of what you can do to kind of not level up, but like put yourself in a place that you want to be to have the relationship that you imagine. So then we have, oh, it's a big theme type situation here. It's a big theme, big themes, big themes, Aguan. Because now we have Capricorn's planetary ruler involved. And that's the part of you that accepts challenge to gain wisdom. You've never been intimidated by no challenge because you already know. I'm going to get something from this. I'm going to learn a lesson. I'm going to... Not that I want all these challenges. You as a Scorpio, okay, fine. Let me, some of you guys are like, what was that? It's Sailor Moon. It's Sailor Moon, okay? There, boom. She's just hovering there. I don't know. I bought it from the dollar store. I don't know why I bought it. It's not worth $3. I tried to make it a deck. Anyways, back to your reading. So Saturn, it's giving us a lot of structure. It's telling you that you need to be pl dedicate, planned and deliberate in how you achieve your goals, which is nice because like as a water sign, it could be like, oh, I don't know how I feel and like, I don't know, whatever happens, happens. And maybe that's more a Pisces thing, but, you know, I feel like with a firm plan and execution, that's the only thing in the way of you achieving your goals. So I feel like if you kind of look in the mirror and feel like you are who you are supposed to be in order to, when you close your eyes and imagine that person that you're supposed to be a match with and what type of harmony that relationship will bring and what type of scenes you see in your head with that person or a person, what does love look like? I feel like... There's like transformation. There's, there's there's a discrepancy between what you're imagining in your head. I want somebody that I'm peaceful with and laying down and we're homebodies and we're just like gardening and they're mowing the lawn and barbecues. And then you go out and you date like these numbskulls in their 20s that are like ah, la, 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 and, and smashing signs. And like, it's like, it's not the same. It's not, it's not the same thing. So, and I know that because you're, again, because you're a Scorpio, you're probably not even thinking that. You're way above that. You're way evolved. You're, there's just something missing that you're not really considering that you don't line up with right now. And so this is a challenge. 
this challenge will be at least worthwhile, especially if it's in order to gain wisdom. So I know that in this love reading, love reading with serious themes and, and like tra personal boundaries and broader themes, I feel like this is a big lesson with this person. And wow, for October, we're learning about ourselves. We're, we're, we're activating, but I feel like we're, we're, we're prepping for something. We're prepping for something. I'm wondering what that is. What is it? It feels like so much of that, but it could also be that you're dealing with a uh, Capricorn, Scorpio, Capricorn. Strong on the Capricorn, heavy on the Capricorn, with hints of Aquarius. All right, so Capricorn. Ooh, Page of Swords, we got drama. Damn, I, I'm telling you, Scorpio, every time you and Capricorn get together, it's some drama. I'm telling you. And then we have the Ace of Swords in reverse, followed by the Four of Swords, followed by the Queen of Swords in reverse, followed by the Moon. <laughs> Why do you guys have so many swords? Okay, listen, I'm not gonna give you that personality trait reading where I go, well, you guys do like to argue. Maybe that's part of what you like, though. You know, somebody who's not gonna shy away from a little quarrel, little lover's quarrel, somebody who's a little feisty, a little sassy on their own. I always felt like Scorpio's like a little bit of that, especially because you're, uh, you're Mars. But yeah, let's look at this. So as it relates to love and relationships, I'm, you're probably feuding with the Capricorn. You're probably in some sort of challenging situation with the Capricorn, what can I say? The page, the page of Swords means there's drama, there's gossip, there's talking, there's chatting, there's yapping about this person. It could be an immature move or it could be somebody younger than you talking about this or somebody who's not even directly involved, somebody just like talking about you. So then we have the Ace of Swords here and this is about initiating new ideas, having eureka moments and this, it feels like the same old tricks because you're up in reverse. We're spiraling around, you know, the spiraling staircase. I know there's a light at the end of the tunnel, but Listen, the drama, the gossip, again, it could be, hey, within that drama and gossip, there's a few key nuggets of information. There's some intel that shows you a broader view of this person. But I feel like overall, it's just like the noise, the gossip, the, 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 the headache. It all stays the same. And you always feel like you have to activate your queen of swords energy. And it's not something that you necessarily want to do. And it's something that sometimes you have to like use it to... You don't have to be like very deliberate in the words that you choose with somebody and then you have to like do mental gymnastics around how you say things and like if you suggest something you have to like you have to like word it in a way so that they come to their own conclusion themselves so they think it's their idea because of fragile ego and like it's just like it's too much you know it's too many alley-oops too many peaks and valleys that I got to go through to just get to a yes or a no like like we're not smooth in the communication area and it, with all these swords you know, it's, it's looking challenging when it comes to love and relationships or with a particular person if they're a Capricorn. So the Ace of Swords is like saying, hey, we should start this. But every time we get started, something just, you know, something delays it. There's drama and gossip to the left of you. There's Four of Swords waiting and stagnation. Or, you know what's funny? I always look at this kind of like shell shock, you know, shell shock. Because like traumatized a little bit and I just want to hold still so that nothing else happens like I was out there in, in the trenches fighting and then now I'm just gonna hold still for a bit I'm just gonna hold still for just a bit because I, I just, I just want to re not relax but I just want to repair my nerves to, to get up and go out and do stuff I feel like this person brought you through it and they made you, made you come to a place where you're just like I'd rather just hold still I'd rather not go out there in all of that and deal with the drama because of the, 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 the number it does on my mental health. You know, so Four of Swords is just, I like to hold still. I'm thinking about everything that has gone on in the past. I'm just like, but you know what guys? There's no action. There's no you doing stuff about it. There's no you having new experiences to pile on top of the bad experiences. There's no you finding healing and resolve um, in, in doing any of this. This is like drama gossip on your mind, preventing you from either voicing how you what you think your idea is I just feel like it's like voice um preventing you from like it's, it's just what you what you think about so it's interrupting other activity so I feel like there's rumors and gossip you're probably thinking about that you're probably overthinking about that it's probably stopping you from something stopping you from growth stopping you from moving forward because you're holding still 
because you just don't want to deal with something or you just don't want to step into another landmine. So, oh, that means some of you guys are like tired, some of you guys are over it, some of you guys are like, Ugh. you almost like you have to generate the feeling to want to go do stuff before you go do stuff. You know, I wish, like, like, oh, I could go out, there's an event today, I could go doll myself up and go and meet people, try to, and start doing that regularly. But I don't even have the will to want to. Like, I want to lay down and sit at, in a nest with horns and stuff. You know, I just want to chillax. <sighs> because I'm scared, I'm shell-shocked. Um, but, I, I, again, rumors and gossip, I think there's just... I don't know, something's unsettling about what was said about you, maybe pertaining to the relationship or just what people have to say about the relationship. And it, it it's it's functional freeze that's even looking like. With the Queen of Swords here, it just shows that normally that you'd be the type to just drop kick whoever isn't falling in line, you know, make an executive decision. You have a, like, there's a heart there with the Queen of Swords. There's, 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 there's going to you know, attack anyone who violates anyone they care for. So there's protection there with the Queen of Swords on your side. But this one in reverse, it's like maybe the Queen of Swords front has been, has last, has left a broader impact on your whole persona. And it's made you like uh, less with the rah-rah. Very, un very serious, very unjoking, <laughs> very not unsoft, very unfeminine, as I, as I mentioned earlier. Um, so you have to, again, check that. And also, there's sometimes a need for that Queen of Swords energy, so it's like just about sorting through when, when, what topics it's a need for. Like, I never have to activate that at daycare. Like, I never have to activate no Queen of Swords energy when I'm at, maybe actually, wait, 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 wait. Okay, at fast food, never have to activate any Queen of Swords energy, because just, just leave. Just, just leave. Oh, it's not going well? Bad food? Bad customer service? Whatever it is, just leave and I won't come back. And there's no argument, and there's no fighting, there's no Queen of Swords energy, okay? And that's a PSA. So then we have the moon. Moon is feminine. Moon is saying at the end of the day, what we wanna do is connect to our intuition. We want to kind of realize that our perception of things are distorted by our emotions um, and by the things that happen to us that have lasting impacts on our feelings. You have to bring that into your attention because I think that might even be the ace of source thing that, that might be missed or delayed is that how you feel about reality is not an aspect of reality, um, Jane Roberts. Um, and the Saturn energy is like the accept the part of you, this, this part of you that ha you, like the thing that needs to click is, is the separation of how you feel about things versus how things actually are. And the moon is like the keeper of secrets or like the, the it's supposed to represent like that warped reality. You know, full moon nights, people act like freaks. You got the, the dog and the crab in them looking at the moon, representing like just a period of time where the perception of reality is distorted. And that might mean you're delusional. That might mean you're drunk. That might mean you're on drugs. Sometimes, you know, but sometimes it's just like somebody fed you some stories and they just kind of molded their perception of you and that's what they've come to know and that's how then they treat you accordingly. So. Um, if there are rumors, if there are gossip, if you're feeling shell-shocked and you're wanting to hold still, you're traumatized, like, this is like, you met me after the traumatizing situation happened. So if somebody who knew me before that, they're like, oh yeah, she's very merry, very bright, very happy, very joyful. And somebody who met me after, they're like, what are you talking about? That's a lie. That is not true. That, that person has been in their room for six months and they don't even say hi. It's like, no, they're, they're repairing. They're trying to... They're so low that they need time to bring back who they are, and you met them during that time. So it's just like, I mean, you're right. That's what they were when you saw them, but that's not, that's not who they are, and that's not where they're trying to go. So, anyways, feels like part love life. It's a lot of yapping. I feel like my defenses would still be up. I feel like you're still repairing from a situation, possibly with a Capricorn, where there's drama, gossip, people talking about you, people involved, um, and you don't like it. You're still recovering. You're still a little jaded. Still a little salty still trying to navigate how and when you activate that Queen of Swords energy and be, let me throw my salt at this person. Maybe you join roller derby and get your aggression out there. Maybe you do boxing. There are things that you don't know. There are things that, there are perspectives that you need to consider that you may have that are impacting your whole overall view. Remember, you're trying to learn life. This situation, this love life thing, that's a part of it, but you're trying to understand yourself because it, it just echoes into everything else. 
and just learn the moral of the story of your lesson. It's 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 a it's a Scorpio thing. There's always a deeper meaning in everything, and I think that's really what you're on the quest for. Because once you understand that, then you start to feel lighter overall. And when you feel lighter overall, people like that. People want that. They want to eat it. Just like when you see like a baby and they're smiling and giggling, they have chubby cheeks, and you're just like cute cuteness aggression. People see an attractive person, they want to be friends. They want to they want to grasp hold. They want to be a part of that. He wanted to rub off on them. And I feel like you just have to work through the situation, except that it takes time. And I guess instead of feeling bad about the fact that it takes time, and understand that you, there are things that you may not understand. Understand that your perspective might be affected by how you feel. And that's more important <laughs> than the relationship, especially if you're assessing how a relationship has impacted you. Um, it's, it's There's so much more value than that, than being like, hey, you make the love of your life tomorrow. And it's like, but I'm a hot mess right now. You can be a hot mess with, with the love of your life, but it's just like, is that really the first impression that you want? It's going to take some work to get to a status. But anyways, Scorpio, that's your reading. That is your reading. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Leave a comment. Come on. Share. Share, share. Soy, soy. And um, yeah, thank you so much for watching. Check out my Etsy shop if you'd like any scented natural wax candles or fragrance oils. I got you. And I will see you in the next one. Peace out.